And good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Monday, August 8th, 2022. Not much to be adding to today's analysis. The market did actually follow through to the upside, as we did expect on one hand. Uh, and we were looking for an actual move all the way, trying to get itself back above 4,200 and on up to the daily 200 EMA, which sits at 42.18. That remains our resistance level. Market got up to 40, 41.92 today. Actually, 41.88. Sorry, thought it got up to 92. 41.88. Looked like it was going to try to muster enough strength to actually push that extra few points there and get it up to 4,200. It failed. However, we still need to leave that open. And for the possibility that they will make it up there. Again, just to review the count, we are in the process of I'm running both counts simultaneously and now have included the labeling where the alternate number two is in parentheses and alternate number one is the labeling that is shown here within the count. Both are running side by side. Both basically almost carry some of the same characteristics in terms of where they could top out and others on how far they can drop down. Now, what and where are we? If we take a look at this, on my alternate uh, alternate view number one is that we just com we completed a minor wave one, not the entire C wave, but just the minor wave one here at uh, 3639. And we've been in the process since that June 16th low of tra tra tracing out a minor wave two counter trend rally. That'll consist of an A, a B, and a C. Still underway, even though I'm marking it as complete, we're leaving open the possibility that this is where it'll get. That's why I'm leaving these up a little bit, but that's what I'm looking for. And we will leave that possibility open, but once it's complete, I am looking for a C wave. Excuse me. Whoa. My days, they kind of just gel together here. I am looking for a minor third wave down. And once that begins, it should be strong and push the market cleanly below the daily four, the daily eight, the daily 20, the daily 50 EMA. And that'll just get us back below 4,000. So I needed to break below 4,100, then back below 4,000, and actually start heading down below 3,900 to confirm a minor third wave. Let's go over and take a peek at the uh, other count, which is alternative number two. I'm sorry for all the beeps and the whistles here, but people are trying to get a hold of me. Uh, that would represent that this level, instead of being a minor first wave, it was completing a minor fifth wave and then a an intermediate C wave and a primary A wave underneath it. And what that then suggests that this has all been the beginning stages of an intermediate A wave and above that would be a primary B wave. So it's a primary B wave up. Now, it remains my alternate because I I don't if for it to be the primary B wave we're really we're looking for much higher levels, and even the A wave should and could possibly be a one a two and this is just three and then we get a four and then we get a five and that five could take us even higher. So I do think that there's too much out there holding it back. And that this is starting to run out of steam. In fact, on my daily chart, you can see it's rolled over already. That's dis in spite of closing with a green bar. So let's take this down to the four-hour chart. It's going to take a minute because my, my computer's being a little... There we go. So opening that up, this is the three and this is the four. So it's actually moving this over. And I will, I'll do it right now. Moving the three over to here to line it up properly. Moving the 
four over to here to line it up properly. And then we have one, two, three, A, B, C, four, big and huge overlaps, All right? So that gives me my first, like, I'm not sure look into what's going on here. And then we get a five. Now, if that completed it, it needs to just really get to move on and start to cut and get below the 50s, 4,000, and back down below this. So <clears throat> a lot of work to be done. Confusing, sloppy move to finish. This does not appear in my view to be a larger bullish move. That being said, doesn't mean it won't happen. So I continue to trade without a bullish or bearish posture or bias. And I am trading the price action. That leaves me open to participate on the buy side and the sell side without being bullish or bearish. So you get to participate in the moves. You get to make your money. You get to go home being a happy camper. Now, how does one really then figure out what's going on? Well, as I've been discussing, I use an order flow volume profile. And within that, I'm already being shown where points of control develop, are created, are holding, value area high, value area low, extended value areas, uh, previous value areas, and then also points of control. And then we have developing where they, can, where they can show up higher or lower. So there's a lot of different things that the market and this and, and the indicators can calculate and display. Markets are now quantitatively traded and they will basically show us what the algorithms are gonna be going for. Again, market profile, the order flow profile, both show us what we then can base our trade on a supply and demand factor, value areas, where can buyers and sellers meet and transact? That's what the value area is called. That's what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, this is where the market's worth it. No, it's the value area where the buyer and the seller find, yep, that's value for me. Boom, they can meet and transact their business. Once that occurs, if the demand is still from the buy side, it will push that value area higher until it finds the next area where buyer and seller can meet and transact in volume, volume profile. So again, what can happen in between, it may move very much, it may move quicker because it's looking to get the orders filled. Now, when that reverses, of course, then your value area is where the seller can find the buyers who will step in and buy it when the market turns and it's going on the way down. So the very effective methodology and it works and it keeps the mindset clear of not having to search, why are they buying this stock? Why are they selling that stock? Et cetera, et cetera, it keeps you open. Add to that, we have the moving averages which continue to tell us where intraday trend could be forming. It has been continuously moving up the 20, the 50s, the 200, they are moving up. That is consistent with that the move is continuing to move higher, but that's why we're also looking for the breaks of moving lower. Starts with here on the four hour chart, moving below the four and the eight and the 20. Now get to get below that 20 today, but it retook it into the close. So, but the four is hooking, very, very short term but it's hooking. So we're looking for this break to come next. Then I'm looking for it to move here and eventually to start breaking here. And I'm looking for the development and the putting in five waves down, at least on the hourly chart, and then again on the four hour chart. And if it is going to be a minor third wave coming down, it would be required to break below 3639. It needs to move below. A minor third wave cannot stop above the end point for minor wave one. It needs to break below it and keep going. So that is what we're looking for. But it's all going to kick off and start with a five wave decline. 
five wave structure coming off of that, wherever the high ends up being put in. So again, for tomorrow, we're up in the air. Unfortunately, I will trade it no matter what happens because I am a day trader and I am not going to take the bias of bullish or bearish. So I'll play what the market gives me, what is trading in front of me. So still looking for this completion. We got to leave open the potential that it will eventually get to 4,200 and then slip above. Don't know how comfortable it'll get up here because each time it goes up, they reject it and it slides back lower. But maybe we can get up to 42. Maybe we can get up to 42.18. Or if we get a really good picture going, we get up to 42.52. And above that, we have the uh, 200 SMA at 43.30. And then we have more Fibonacci resistance at 43.39. No matter where this gets to, the next move will be a downswing. And that will be the determining factor as to how far this market will go down. Minor third, no matter if it starts from here or here, would be expected to go down and break below 36.39. A, an intermediate B wave would not be expected to break below 36.39. It would be expected to hold above it and then put it in and then rally up in a C wave. And that would then complete the primary degree B wave. Whether it's here, whether it's here, it's still going to complete a primary B wave. And the next move will be a very strong decline in a primary C wave. And that will just put in the cycle wave A. Then we're going to get another rally, another strong rally on a cycle degree, strong B wave rally, and then a cycle degree C wave decline. And that's the one that I anticipate will begin to bring the market back down. Got to get my computers to clean up and move a little bit faster now. Back down towards the 2009 lows right in here. Yep, I know that rally is intense. Yep, I know it's steep and everybody goes, can't happen. Okay. That I think is fine, but I'm not going to be bullish or bearish about it. That is just what the numbers, when I run them, that's what it tells me the potential is. Under Elliott and Fibs, that's where it tells me it could go. To complete that super cycle degree fourth wave. Then we go, we go, and we go in a very strong super cycle degree fifth wave advance. That's out there, folks. That's several years out there before that even has a hint of beginning. So back to, let's go back to that four-hour picture. For tomorrow, continue to leave open the possibility that we will run up to 4,200. If the level is rejected yet again, then we're going to still look for the development of an initial five waves down off or wherever this high comes. If we just continue to move lower uh, starting off tomorrow, without revisiting that high, then we'll still look for the development of the five waves to continue down. Okay, our next update will be on Tuesday, the 9th of August.